Okay, everybody, as promised, uh, this is part two of the shop cleanup and reorganization. We're going to start over here with uh, some new parts. Everything that I've got that's new or good, uh, maybe not brand new, but stuff that I've had for a little while that's going back on this car. Uh, I've got laid out so I can get to it when I need it. Uh, couple of things that have been cleaned up, sandblasted, mostly new stuff um, that I'll be using is here. Worked on this thing for uh, probably the better part of about 10 hours trying to get everything so that I could get to it when I need it and so that it's uh, not hindering me in any way. And that's just a shot of my big table in the center room. Uh, a couple extensions on there. Uh, put up a set of shelving there. I put uh, all my paint just rattle can stuff there, uh, mineral spirits, lacquer thinner stuff. Uh, most of my tool boxes are going to be all together on this wall. Most of my tools uh, I try to keep together. Two homemade tool boxes there that I've had for years, and they do a good job. They work well. Uh, built those several years ago out of birch plywood. Um, they're just as good as the, the smaller uh, steel boxes that I've got. Now, they're not the best quality, but uh, they do good enough for what I'm doing. Um, got things kind of put up and in place, findable again. Um, decided to leave this roll around table just like it was because that's the table I work off of. That's got the go-to stuff um, that I use mostly. So just decided to leave it and store it up under uh, some of my power tools and stuff that I've got in place there. And panning around to what I'm most happy about That's the uh, entrance door, the front of the shop. We just kind of made a circle around the back back wall. Um, you'll remember earlier on in the first video, this corner over here had the uh, had the table saw, and I mean it was just cluttered terribly bad. Um, if I'm not spider bit after all this. I'm going to be lucky because uh, I'll, I'll be spraying this place tomorrow morning. There was some serious spiders under and here and there and over and in. And Shout out to Mr. Fireman 164 on the spider. I did get the blast cabinet in place where it's going. Uh, got the gloves put on. I got uh, what I'm going to use for a dust collection system hooked up, which is just a uh, big shop vac. And if I need to later on, I'll duck that out, that back wall up underneath uh, that workbench over there. I can just duck it right out. Uh, did get the air regulator on. I do not have the, the new compressor plumbed in yet. Uh, that's next on the list. Um, got to pick up some half inch black iron pipe and some fittings, but uh, I've got access on each end and then the, also the, the front door that opens up. So uh, should be good to go. Plenty of room in there to get some big parts uh, ready to hook it up. Just got to get that compressor plumbed in. I did make a little tumble 
unit there that I can put nuts and bolts in and just rotate that and blast as I go. Uh, it's I don't know how well that's showing up, but it's plenty big. You can put a double handful of stuff in there. Um, and if I need to, I can mount that, but it's pretty heavy. And it's just a piece that slides on that arm that I bent. It's just a big cup with a perforated back. So uh, hopefully that'll work out good. I do have to go to Lowe's and get... Uh, a piece of safety glass cut for this and I'm going to try to find some clear uh, leg sand some real thin stuff to go behind that so I can just replace that as it gets worn uh, instead of having to replace the glass every time it gets to where you can't see through it so uh, but again gloves hooked up ready to go just got to plumb the compressor and uh, looking over at that compressor, I did get it where I wanted it. And it's a job. One man is pretty tough. But we walked it in, got it where I want it. I'm going to leave it on the pallet. I'm not going to take it off and mount it to the floor, drill holes or anything. Uh, I'm going to leave it right there. I was able to go through all the junk <laughs> and kind of straighten and uh, identify and categorize most of my sheet metal, my fenders, my doors, my trunk deck on this table out of the way. Motor transmission still in the same place up underneath with the back tires. Uh, new motor stand, uh, I'll be you know, using that later on. Um, this table has the entire interior other than that back seat that's hanging on the wall, front seats, bottom uh, bottom part or back parts, everything's there. The more fragile stuff uh, in that corner, uh, the headliner rolled up, some of the plastic parts over there, uh, the package tray cover, which will be recovered, uh, not in that silver, more than likely it'll be black, is there. It's in good shape. Just take that off, put some new vinyl on. I've got plenty of vinyl. Um, and uh, just tried to, try to get everything in order so that I could see it, get my hands on it when I need it. Um, a lot of that stuff probably looks familiar. I did, as I was disassembling this project, I did mark most everything. The one thing that I didn't do, and I would strongly advise, um, and, and I know a lot of you guys probably have done this before. This was my first rodeo. I did not bag and tag nuts and bolts, so I'm probably going to have a hard time when it comes to putting this thing back together. Uh, the shocks and stuff like that will all be replaced, but I've just got them. It was all here, so I just decided to straighten it all out. Uh, hood hinges, uh, A-pillar inside, in interior covers, uh, a lot of the molding, the trim. I think I might have a piece or two of that missing that uh, I'll probably need to buy new. Hopefully, I can just clean up what I've got and reuse it. Hopefully. But again, everything's kind of put up where I can get to it. Bumpers, front, upper, and lower valence. Um, makes me feel a lot better knowing that I can see everything, get to everything. Um, floor's kind of clean, swept it uh, two or three times. Hopefully that'll cut down on the dust problem. But uh, pretty happy with all this. Uh, of course, I, I mentioned I had two welding tables. This one's just for storage over here. Both of them are four foot by eight foot. And uh, this one is what I work off of when I need to do any bigger stuff. I did get a 
got my vise remounted on the corner there um, and then up underneath just some storage a roll around table um, a heavy duty floor jack that somebody gave me and that's an old lawnmower deck that uh, is just like the one I own and it's in better shape and probably one day I'll replace that one because there's uh, a lot of holes in the sheet metal and stuff starting to come up and make a mess but uh, again that's what we're doing today or what we've done and pretty happy with everything I feel like I've got breathing room again and that uh, of course I got to get the lawnmower out of here I, I rolled it in had to put a uh, a new drive belt on it and hopefully my son will be using that first thing tomorrow uh, this is his last week at home we will be empty nest he is leaving Saturday going to Auburn University and we couldn't be any more proud he is uh he has gone for two and a half years locally at uh, south georgia state college he applied and was accepted to auburn he'll finish his education and bachelor's degree and uh, might stay uh, and, and try to get a master's degree uh, two to three years he should be done and and become a tax-paying citizen so we're mighty proud of him, and uh, like I said, we'll be empty nest and just kind of struggle through this next week till we get rid of him, and hopefully uh, <laughs> it won't be too bad on Mama. She's already struggling a little. But there again, I'm extremely happy. It was a lot of hard work. It is... Uh, Cleaned up, ready to go again. I don't think it's been this clean in years. But uh, I, I just got a lot of stuff. I've got a lot of stuff. I've accumulated a lot of stuff uh, that I don't use much. A lot of the woodworking stuff I've just, uh, I've used it in the past, building uh, uh, decks onto the house and, and what have you. But uh, probably probably didn't even need a, that big a table saw. Uh, but uh got a bad problem about going a little overkill sometime on some things I buy but there again it is what it is and mighty happy with the way this thing has turned out next weekend we'll be moving him in on Saturday and Sunday will be a free day for me to work on this car and my plan is to get these bumper brackets cut out and get all that rotten uh, cut out of there. Uh, I've got sheet metal. I'm not going to try to replace this entire trunk pan. It would probably be best, but that is a ton of work as... Uh, you can see by watching uh, Russ's videos, Double R, uh, that's a lot of work, and I just don't think I would have the patience or be capable of doing that. I'm just going to try to patch the bad spots here. I know some of that is missing. Uh, the trunk pan should have ears that come up on this side of those brackets in here. And you can tell that trunk pan's been cut. This one overlaps. Um, and I'm going to get in there and cut those out. Probably order some new ones. I don't think I'll be able to salvage these. We'll try to uh, now that we've got a blast cabinet. If I can cut them out without damaging them too bad, we can clean them up and paint them and probably reuse them. But I just don't know yet. But we'll try. Um, but that's what we're going to start on Sunday and try to get it ready for the tail panel to go back on. There is some work that I'm going to need to do around the perimeter. Some rust I'm going to need to cut out here. And like I say, I've got sheet metal I'm going to try to bend and uh, form and get that done. This side's not nearly as bad 
as the other side, but there is a place or two I'll cut out and repair. I want to thank uh, my new subscribers, and I want to thank everybody for watching the video, and see you soon. Have a good week.